Well, Bernie Sanders heads into South Carolina with a lot of wind in his back. And more and more Americans are okay with big government. That's his message to Ben Stein on if this has him worried. Ben, are, are you concerned that uh, Bernie Sanders is really resonating? I'm very concerned about the fact that he's really resonating on many fronts. One, people don't seem to realize that socialism equals tyranny, maybe not immediately, but somewhere down the road. Socialism takes away freedom from individuals. Socialism generally involves slow growth, although not always, but usually it does. Socialism means a cut back in the freedom of people to make their own decisions about their own lives. I'm very worried about that more than about the size of government. If government is 1% or 2% bigger, it's going to mean a bigger deficit, but we're heading for a default anyway. So, uh, but I'm very concerned that people don't understand what socialism is. And I don't think Mr. Sanders knows what socialism is. I don't think he knows his ass from first base, as my father used to say. <laughs> Although he, he talks a good game. Uh, you know, when you see him get up there, he's, he, lay, he lays it out there pretty forcefully. And, and, and it feels like there's conviction behind it because what you hear most people say is that the guy is authentic. Well, I'm sure if you'd heard Lenin speak, or Stalin speak, you would have heard a lot of conviction too. I'm sure. I mean, the fact that a person speaks with conviction doesn't make him right. I mean, this this is a person that my my dear friend Lindsey Graham said about him. He went on honeymoon to Moscow and he never came back. I mean, this is a person who really doesn't understand how the world works very well, and he scares me to death. On the other hand, I like the fact that uh, people like old Jewish men. I like that a lot. <laughs> this, this campaign has very greatly improved my feeling about uh, the attitude of this country uh, towards old Jewish men. What about though, the idea then, you just hit upon that, you know, you go to Moscow, you come back, you're enthusiastic that this is the way it should be. The romanticizing of these sort of things that have failed everywhere in the world to the point of tyranny, how does that happen? How does that happen with the old guy who should know better and with young people who just, who have great educations? I have a good, a good answer to that, Charles, my dear friend. The fact that a person is old doesn't make him smart. In fact, my experience is that uh, old people generally are stupider uh, than middle-aged people. And the fact that people are in schools makes them the stupidest. Well, there's no one less educated than a contemporary American college student. It's a terrifying thing. My, uh, the people who are... Uh, who never went to school at all know more than the miseducation they're given in schools. I mean, in schools, they're taught to hate America, to be ashamed of America, to, be, to hate capitalism. They don't know anything. I mean, they're taught everything wrong. You know, uh, let's switch a little bit then to the, to the Republican side, because promises are being made on yes, that side, the Republican too. side. Okay, promises are being well, made on that side The Republican side scares well. me to death. They scare me, too. I mean, I love Kasich. I think Kasich would be a great president. Solid, responsible guy. Uh, Mr. Trump terrifies me. I have a long history with Mr. Trump. He won't remember me, but I remember him. I wrote an article about him for Barron's uh, about 1988 or 89, maybe 90, about some uh, bonds he had uh, sold to uh, investors who were then suing him for fraud. And uh, I, I, the, the book, the article was called The Art of the Dubious Deal. I, I don't think I ever was proved wrong that he uh, did some very serious misconduct. I may be wrong about this, but. Uh, I think his behavior towards his bondholders has been very questionable throughout, and uh, I, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. But, but his, uh, the people who really are enthusiastic about him say, listen, uh, there are certain things that are going to happen throughout the course of doing business. Uh, some won't work out. Occasionally some bondholders will come up short. But for a man who's created over 100 businesses, to have a handful of them come up short, considering all the jobs and the prestige that he's brought to this country, maybe you're being a little hard on him. I don't think he's brought that many jobs or prestige to this country. Uh, I consider him a kind of a manipulator, and this is just my opinion. I, 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 uh, I, don't, I don't think he's a very impressive businessman at all. And anyway, he's not running for head of a casino business. He's running for head of the United States government. That's an entirely different thing from a business. It has to do with providing a lot of goods and services to people, not necessarily, in fact, definitely not making a profit. It has to do with compassion and understanding very complex bits of machinery. I don't think he understands the machinery of human relations at all. I think he's a bully and a thug. This is just my opinion, and I do not like the idea of this guy, this strutting thug, being president of the United States. He scares me to death. Well, you know, I, 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 uh, that, those are very, very hard words. So you can put me down as a... You can put me down as a maybe. I'll put you down as a maybe. But here's the thing. 
people are saying all the things you just talked about, the folks that do know how to do it, what's happened? Why, why, have, why has the country gotten to the point that it's gotten to with these professional politicians who only go to D.C. And, 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 and want to stay there forever, never move, and only look out for themselves? They come up short, they lie to the public over and over again, and that's why they want someone who's met deadlines, who's gotten things done. Well, you know what? I, I'm going to say something heretical now, Charles, but I hope we're good enough friends that you won't leap through the TV monitor and kill me. I don't think government is doing that bad a job. I think government does a pretty darn good job considering how big government is and considering how many difficult problems it has to address. I don't see what Washington's done that's, that's, that's that terrible. I don't understand the rage against Washington. I don't understand the rage in this country at all. I think things are pretty damn good in America, and I don't have, feel any anger towards the government at all. All right, Ben. Well, a lot of people, obviously, I'm not going to jump through the screen, but some people are throwing I, tomatoes at it right now. I, we got we to leave it I'm there. I'm sure they are. I appreciate your God candor. Bless you, sir. See you soon.